Hello, YouTube. I'm back again. No, it's at my door. I'm just making sure nothing comes to my door. We're back with another video. None of you guys even commented. Neither did I check. But I don't know if you can hear on clacking right now. But I made another Lego gun. A lot of bricks went into this. So this is actually my first submachine gun I've ever built. I have tried to make a Groza. Or a Groza. Groza. However you want to pronounce it. I tried to make one, like, a pretty long time ago. It failed miserably, but I've created the Micro Uzi. Now this is my favorite some machine gun I've built. It's got this is actually my first gun I've made that has two functions. One of my guns actually had a movable trigger, and that was like a really bad lever action shotgun. We have the magazine, removable magazine. As you can tell, I actually reused the mag from I mean the handle from the nineteen eleven I built a couple of months ago. But some of it has changed, like the trigger has changed. But the mag is also different. Shout out to my different username. He's the guy who inspired me to build these, including this. And he's the guy that inspired me to start my channel, honestly. I was originally going to make a gaming channel, but enough about talk. Let's get to the functions of this weapon. First, let's just talk about the mag. So, let's set the gun to the side. We have the mag. Now, this is the first time I've done a mag that has a top looking actually kind of like a bullet. Where it has... Where the top is kind of slim. And then it goes down to the fatter yellow piece at the bottom. The shell. So, I actually put a little nub at the bottom. If I, if I turn sideways, you see more. If there's a little nub at the bottom. And it's for that when it's inserted into the gun... You can see how far it goes in. Like that. So that's kind of what I want to discuss about the mag. Set that right there. It's already been two minutes, okay. Next, let's look at the handle. Now, I shouldn't even have to go over this. Because it's basically the exact same handle from the original 1911 video I made. Except the trigger is different, and also I'm pretty sure this piece is longer, the trigger guard. That's it. That's all that's changed. So that's basically it for that. The most changed part of this, of all, is the actual gun itself. This, the easy part. Now this doesn't actually have a shoulder guard, as you can see. It doesn't actually have the thing that goes onto your shoulder... You're shooting, so you go like that. Like that. Doesn't have that. Instead, it just has a flat piece back there. And actually, now that I think about it, let's look at the iron sights. Pretty good iron sights, if I could get it lined up correctly. Bingo. Yeah, there we go. You can actually see the iron sights. Pretty good. If you back it up, it's a lot easier to see. And they actually kind of look like Uzi sights. But the, my favorite part about this is that it's not going to be an Uzi without... I actually made my first pullback system. Well, kind of. Basically, if I can take the gun apart without messing up how this thing works. So, let me do that. Let's uh, not talk about what just happened. It's actually nothing really important. It's just the barrel fell off. Because it's split in two. But we actually now can see the system of how the bolt looks. So, this is the bolt right here. It's pretty simple. So, it goes on to the sliding piece right here. That makes it slide forward and back. And on the top, uh, if you could look closer, there's actually a piece in right here where my two finger, my three fingers are at, where there is like a space where this p 
piece of it goes, so it's held in. So that means if we put it on correctly, wait, let me just make sure it's good. Because I had it jam earlier with it, the kind of thing jammed. Um, hold on a second. Okay, so I looked around. I was missing this piece right here at the front. I was like, oh crap, I was missing it. So I just paused it, put it back on, and there we go. So this is actually a really cool, I like the top. I like the top how I made it. It looks neat, in my opinion. The barrel is kind of just a barrel. So, that's what I wanted to talk about today. So, I was coming up with ideas. None, I actually didn't see any of your guys' comments because no one commented on the video. We only have, like, one subscriber, so... Please hit the subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit the like button and the bell. So you're notified when a new video comes out. But anyway... Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a comment. I don't care. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.